couple of years into the Amikami heroines line of statues, um, they acted like they were going to start doing male characters. They rebranded it the Hero and Heroine series, and released Batman, this one, and apparently forgot the whole idea because never another male figure was never released again, as far as I know. Batman is covered in leather. Extra leather armor, extra leather on his boots, excessive leather belts and pouches, and I really, really dig the design of this. Um, being a static figure, there's no posability to it. Um, some of the cape bits are a little bit pliable, so you can, I don't know, I guess you could maybe finagle this under his arm if you really wanted to. Uh, it does nothing. I don't think the head even turns. But it looks really nifty. And I like it. It's kind of a little awkward looking straight on because of his pose. Um, I tend to put him on a higher shelf so he's looking down at everything, glowering at them from the rooftops as Batman should do. Check out the size of that collar attaching the cape to his neck. Jeez. Um, I like the two-tone color to his mask that I've never noticed before and might in fact just be the light. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like there's the gunmetal gray and black on the mask. The colors are really vibrant. I, I've always liked the Batgirl design when she had the yellow inside the cape. I just thought it looked really striking. It's cool that they applied it to Batman. Um, I would buy a Superman done in this series. He's even got a zipper on his boot. Cool. But they just went to doing all females, and I don't know, they could do some other cool heroes if they wanted, but I bet the females sell better. But I recommend it.